Hi, and welcome to Mike's Garage. Today we're going to go over how to mount your EG4 12,000 XP off-grid inverter. Inside the box your 12,000 XP, you're going to have various hardware and you're also going to have this nice cardboard template. Now the template is the full size of the EG4 12,000 XP and these openings here represent the bracket where it would be mounted at on the wall. So when you find a spot that you're ready to mount this, you're first going to line it up. So we'll use as an example my 12,000 XP here, you're going to line it up and then when you have it in the proper position, you're then going to start drilling your holes and you'll know exactly what it will look like when you have your EG4 up on the wall. So definitely don't throw this out. Once you determine your location and you created your pilot holes, you're then going to take the bracket that comes with it and you're going to mount that to your wall. So as you can see on mine, I have mine mounted right here and it's connected to this uh, two by eight that is up against my wall. Now the two by eight, I anchored it into the steel frame of the shop and then the bracket, I then mounted that uh, to the wood board. Now something that's very important, this is very heavy. This is about 104 pounds. So you're going to want to make sure that um, however that you mount it, it's going to be strong enough to hold that weight. Okay. Obviously drywall is not going to hold it. Uh, but if you, if you uh, uh, drive it into uh, several studs on your house, then, then that would work. All right. And then on the bottom, Here's the smaller brackets that I mentioned before in the unboxing video in which I have a two by four connected up against the frame of the shop. And then once again, have my two screws there and then it's screwed into the board. Now let's go over the hardware. So the kit does include uh, anchors, which would go into a concrete wall. Uh, you would have to um, use a hammer drill to drill out your wall and then you would put the anchors in, tighten them down, and then it will expand at the bottom, which will hold the anchor in place. If you've ever installed a lift in a shop, it's very, very similar, uh, the same type of anchor bolts. Now, if you are installing this into a wood stud, you want to use these bolts that, uh, that come with it, and this will secure it up against the, uh, the wall with the studs. Once again, drywall is not going to hold these. These are 104 pounds. So once again, you do have your template, you have your hardware, and then you want to make sure that you mark exactly where you want it to go. Now, before you try to lift this, because once again, it is quite heavy, number one, make sure you're using a back belt. Uh, I don't care how big that a person is, um, you know, everyone can hurt their back. So make sure that you're wearing a back belt. That's something that's kind of mandatory when you're working with something this heavy. The other thing that you're going to want to have is going to be a lift table. So this is one that I got from Harbor Freight, works quite well, and I think this one can lift about 500 pounds, and lifting up the uh, 12,000 XP is no problem whatsoever, and it got me to the height that I needed to be at. When you have your bracket mounted, you're using either a lift table or you have two people to lift it, Something I do want to show you with the bracket. As you can see here with the bracket as it's mounted to the, um, to the shop, up on top here on the EG4, it is going to slide down into that bracket. So you're going to have to lift the EG4 up uh, to where this bracket that's on the EG4 is about two inches or so higher than this. Position it into place 
and then start lowering it to where it connects. Once it connects and is fully seated, then all of the weight of the EG4 is going to be here. On this bottom bracket, this does not hold any weight whatsoever. The purpose of this is to stabilize the unit and secure it up against the wall. So if there's any sort of vibration or if someone was tugging at this for some reason, there's no chance that it's going to uh, detach from the wall. And this is what it looks like. So now that it's mounted, let me go ahead and pull this tab off or the film that is. And there it is set up. So it's right next to my existing EG4 uh, 12,000 XP. And the next video that I need to create is going to be cabling, which I'll take my cable out here. I'll have another one out there. And I will uh, wire it into this panel, which then they'll both connect to this. And then they'll go into my main panel. And I saw, I got that idea of taking the multiple inverters and then going into a single panel first, checking to make sure that everything is good and then going into your main panel. I learned that from Will, Will Prouse, so I saw that on his channel. And uh, if you haven't checked out Will's channel, please do. Absolutely amazing, um, amazing YouTube channel. And I believe Will just hit 1 million subscribers, which is very cool. So congratulations to Will on that. Let's see what else. When you go to uh, do your initial configuration, and I'll probably talk about this a little bit later, um, inside the box you have uh, your, your Wi-Fi dongle. It's going to say, please inquire your local supplier for customer code during registration. So with this, I picked up both of my units from Signature Solar, received a great deal from both of those, and... Uh, I've had good support thus far, so that's a really good thing. So I ended up calling Signature Solar, and they gave me the code. So the first one I was able to set up, and then I'll set up my uh, um, my second one next. And then I'll also show you how to set up, um, you know, two panels to where or two inverters to where they're, um, you know, they're synced. So, uh, but that's another video. Uh, if you have any questions about the install um, or about how to mount it on the wall, feel free to reach out and, and leave a comment. Um, I will have links underneath the description. Um, and if you do happen to make a purchase uh, from one of those links, I do get a small commission. So I just wanted to be uh, transparent with that. It does help me and it helps me uh, build out my solar projects. Um, but just to have someone watch my videos and give a thumbs up or comment is uh, uh, honestly is good enough. So that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching Mike's Garage. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.